the problem is, that's what I'm doing. I'm making videos I love making, but for, for some reason I still can't make those videos. That's the truth about content creation. The reality is, it's been about a month since you guys have seen me on YouTube and firstly, I'm sorry, but I just wanted to make this video to kind of talk about how the, the journey of, of YouTube for me has been and the past four videos that I've made uh, and just the reality of being a content creator. And honestly, it's good. I mean, there's loads of benefits. Like obviously you build a community and you can build a fan base that loves you for you, but it's not as easy as people make it out to be. Like, I know I say that all you have to do is be passionate and be enthusiastic about what you want to talk about, but there's so many things that kind of put friction towards you and creating videos. And today I want to talk about why content creation isn't easy. I want to tell you about the things that I struggle with and what you can do to stop struggling with them. I think the biggest roadblock for me with creating content and what causes the most friction between me sitting in this chair, creating the setup and recording a video is the fact that there's no deadlines. There's no actual reason for me to make a video. Like I don't have, there's nothing telling me, oh, you should make a video at this time on this day and you should post it at this time and when I need to post it. I just, I don't have it. Like there's nothing. There's no reason for me to actually make videos. And to be honest, it's hard to choose to make a video every single day. And I think the solution to this problem that I've found, and I'm not doing it today because I haven't planned enough videos, but is to bulk shoot your content. So if I were to shoot this video today, I would shoot another, let's say two or three videos so that I can make the most out of this sitting. But my problem is I, I don't script enough videos. I just enjoy scripting one video and then that's it. I just kind of say, yep, okay, I'm gonna film that one. And then the next day I have to do the same thing or the next week I have to do the same thing. To be fair, I think it's just my problem. I, 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 maybe I'm just not passionate, maybe I'm not passionate enough, maybe. Maybe that's it. And to be honest, I wouldn't be surprised, but having no deadlines also kind of lets things uh, get you off track of what your goals are. And it's it's tough. If you wanna create content and you're finding that things, things are happening in your life that are getting in the way of you picking up the camera and pressing record, what you can do is block times out to film content in your calendar so that you, you kinda have to. It's not setting a deadline, but it's like, if you don't do it, it kind of makes you feel a bit, a bit like, ah, oh, I didn't, I didn't hit my goal for today. I didn't do what I wanted to do for today. And that could, that could make you want to make content more or less. Cause it could just make you feel like you're working. Another thing for me, which is a, kind of a weird one. It's, I don't feel like I have the passion. I, like I do have the passion and it, it, I feel like it's my purpose to make videos that help people. But I, I, there must be some friction to um between me creating a video because like it took me about two hours to make this setup and sit down and press record that's absurd it shouldn't take me that long to just get in the in the mindset of making a video and to be honest i didn't even want to make a video but i thought to myself it's been it's been too long how am i letting myself just I built I built a little bit of an audience. I built like 50 of you guys that like to watch my videos and that ask me, when's the next video coming out? And I have no idea. I, just, I, I don't know when the next video is coming out, but <sighs> what do I do? What I did was reduce the friction between me making videos. So this is my room. I've converted my room into a setup. I have no other excuse. The only reason why there was friction between me making a video is because downstairs, the setup isn't permanent. This setup is permanent. I have no excuse to not make a video. This is, this is the final boss of setups. I, if this doesn't work, there's nothing that's gonna work. And to be honest, it's also ideas. I just feel like I don't have, I lack ideas. I have loads of titles and I have loads of thumbnails, but I just haven't scripted any talking points for those ideas. And all I'd have to do if I wanted to fix that is make videos that I love making. And the problem is, that's what I'm doing. I'm making videos I love making, but for, for some reason I still can't make those videos. It could just be a me thing. It could just be that I don't have the discipline that I think I have. And not saying that I think I have discipline, but I assumed that I had some small ounce of something. And obviously, although you see these creators on TikTok, on Instagram and on YouTube making videos that are like, whoa, how did you, how did you think of that? Like, that's, that's an insane idea. You must be so creative. Honestly, nobody is creative full time. Nobody can just 
always be creative. It's it's a thing that you have to tap into. You have to tap into your creativity. And some people are more blessed than others. They have loads of creative juices oozing out of them all the time. But but me, like I'm a, just an average guy. I'm an ordinary guy that just wants to make videos that will help other people get the drive to make videos. But to be honest, I barely, barely have that drive sometimes. And that's the truth about content creation. The reality is, sometimes you're not gonna wanna make videos. And sometimes you're gonna be super excited to make videos. And that's just the game. And that's why you see people that are super duper successful. And it's because they've put in so many hours into just getting good at their craft and making videos that they're proud of. And imagine them looking back at their first videos thinking, wow, like this is where I've come from. It's funny because there's so many things that you can outsource when it comes to content creation in general. You can outsource your ideas, you can outsource your thumbnails, you can outsource your hooks, your scripts. But the one thing that nobody can outsource is their creativity, their, the thing that they bring to the video that makes it unique and their character that can compel an audience. And I think that's what scares people and scares me from making videos. It's just, it's also that there's a lot of friction. Like I have to make my whole setup. But the fact that I, I feel like I have to put on a, a character for social media is, I think that's what the real problem is. But it's so simple, just not easy. You have to be enthusiastic about what you're talking about, but it can't be fake. It has to be genuine and, yeah. And if you feel like there's no ideas coming to your head and you don't feel creative at all, then the best thing to do is to have, make videos about conversations that you have. So think about, you think about your day, okay? Take a second to think about all the things that happened today. And if you had a conversation, what, what brought out the best of you in that conversation? What made you feel inspired in that conversation? And what did you feel most passionate talking about? And whatever that thing is, is what you wanna make a video on. And that, that is what's gonna really make, make you proud of that video. You're gonna think, wow, that's, that's me in my element. And when I figured that out, that exact tip, the fact that you should make videos about what you're talking about and that will bring out your natural, your natural self and your enthusiastic, authentic, just real persona. I'm actually gonna be starting a podcast and the reason for that is I wanna make, I wanna talk to someone while I'm making a video. Like while I'm recording a video, I wanna talk to someone. And that just means that whatever you see on camera is me. It's not me bringing some internet personality to you. It's actually you listening to me and me giving advice to someone else that you can take from. <laughs> Does that make sense? Like it, it just makes so much sense. And when I heard someone speak about that, on their podcast, I was like, wow. Like, you can make a podcast and then just farm clips. I could get seven clips a day, post them to Instagram, post them to TikTok, and I'll be also making YouTube videos in the same, the same process. But the annoying thing about YouTube and the thing that stops so many people from creating is the fact that there's absolutely no rewards at the start. You only start to make money when you start to be successful. So it means that all of the effort you put in at the start, you don't, you don't see any any financial gain. And that's not to say that it doesn't do anything because that's the stepping stone to you actually making money. But what do you do? Like, if you're in a situation where you wanna make videos and you wanna make them better and better and better, but you're just, you're just not getting funded for, for your efforts, it's, it's a very hard battle to go against. And it's, it's just, it's like, do I even make more videos? Because nothing nothing's happening. I don't see any growth at all. And if that's where you're at right now, just stop and start enjoying the process. Forget, oh, forget about the money, please. It, this has nothing to do with the money. Enjoy the journey. Just enjoy the journey because once you get to the money, I promise, it, it's not gonna change a thing. Yeah, it's gonna make your life easier and you'll be able to do things that you couldn't when you didn't have money. But you, you'll think back about the journey and you'll just, you'll wish to relive it again. And I know it's hard to find drive when you're making videos and you're not making any money at all, but try and stay focused on your purpose and what makes you fulfilled, because that's, that's the only thing that's gonna make you happy. If you're doing something that you don't actually enjoy and you're only doing it for the financial gain, it's gonna drain you mentally. And that's exactly 
the precise definition of what burnout is. Doing something for a certain amount of time with no growth and no monetary gain. Think about where you've come from and where you wanna get, but try and enjoy the journey to get there. Okay, look, I'm so proud of myself for making this video, finally! It took me so long, but you know what? That's okay, I've done it now, and I feel like now I've got the ball rolling to start to start being in my element again and making content. And I'm not gonna lie, I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes, so I'm definitely not just sitting on my ass doing nothing. There's there's a lot going on behind the scenes. So if you wanna see some of that, you can go to my Instagram. I'm replying to everyone at the moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and comment something that you got from this video. If you found something interesting, leave it down in the comments. If you have something that you can help someone with, make sure to comment that too. Peace out.